Hi teacher friends, this is Mrs. Morrow. I'm back with another video about making a virtual classroom and in this video I'm going to show you guys how to insert a Bitmoji character into your classroom. For this you're going to need your cell phone. It's the easiest way to do this. Um, on your cell phone you're going to go to your app store. I have um, an iPhone so it's pretty easy for me to go to the app store. I don't know about Android but anyway wherever you go on your phone to get an app you're going to do that and it, you're going to go to Bitmoji. Um, download the app. Um, go ahead and make an account. You're going to need to put in your email address and make a password so that you're able to put these Bitmojis into your virtual classroom. Okay so after you've made your account you're going to go onto the app on your phone and it you can either upload a picture of yourself or you can take a selfie. I just took a selfie and it instantly made my little person and it doesn't look exactly like me but I still think it looks pretty cute and I like it. After you make that little person you can go in and choose a body type. You can choose um, glasses, freckles, eye color, however you want to make that little bitmoji look just a little bit more like yourself. Um, you can also go in and change the outfit on there and once you click save that's the outfit that you're going to see when you go to put the bitmoji into your virtual classroom. So what you're going to do is you can see here is my virtual classroom. I'm going to go and open up a new tab and you're going to type Chrome because this is Google Chrome Web Store. Okay. Once you get into Chrome Web Store, Google Chrome, you're going to search it. Emoji. It's going to come up. I already have it. So it would normally say add to Chrome, but this is what it looks like. Okay. After you've done that, after you've added it to Chrome, okay, you can X out of this page back in my Google Classroom and I want if you look at the cursor come up here to the top of the page you're gonna see those three little dots and then you're gonna go on here what I'm looking for is extensions um, on mine it's this little puzzle piece that looks like an extension but it shows you what extensions you have. I've got Nimbus, which is what I'm using to make this video. I've got an ad blocker, and here's Bitmoji, and there's a little pin. Um, if you can see, this one up here, I don't have it pinned, so it's a clear pin. These two are pinned, so it's blue. Right here, you can see where it says Manage Extensions. You can search, you can see, you can remove things, you can turn it on and off, but that's how you get to the Bitmoji, okay? I know that's not, it's a little difficult. Another way that you could do this is you could pull up your new tab and you could simply type Chrome Extensions. It's going to take you to that page like I just showed you, and then you can manage your extensions. And you can decide, hey, I want this turned on, I want this turned off. Um, once you've done that, like I said, mine is a little puzzle piece. Um, but once you've gotten your extension on there, this is the Bitmoji one. It looks like a little green smiley face. And the thing that's cool about that is that the app on your phone is exactly the same. It's the little green smiley face. Okay, so if I click on that, here is my Bitmoji. It's going to come up like this, and it's going to show this is the last outfit that I had made for myself. Okay, um, some really good things to search for. You can search for Pose. And that's going to give you several with you with your little person standing up. So it's going to give you some good options. You can simply put sit or sitting. Um, I wouldn't use the one where you're sitting on the toilet, even though the kids would probably think that was hilarious. Um, but here is one where you're simply sitting. Okay, so you're going to click on the one that you like, and then you're going to right click, copy image click in your virtual classroom and you're going to right click and paste. 
Now, you can resize your little person by grabbing those blue little blocks and moving it around. I want to show you a tip. If you'll notice, my little person is facing the wrong way, so it won't look like she's sitting in a chair, which is what I want her to look like she's doing, um, and it doesn't work. If you'll just have her clipped on or have her highlighted, you'll come up here to where it says Arrange. Um, you can do it this way where you order. That's not really what I want. Hold on one second. Uh, format Options, excuse me. That's what I want is Format Options. So Format Options size and rotation and come right down here to flip and it flips her so that she's looking in the opposite direction okay and then you can kind of move it around resize however you need to but now my little bitmoji person is sitting in a chair so it looks like she's you know actually sitting in a classroom okay so that's how you can do that Let's say that you really love this virtual classroom and you're like, you know what, I'm good with this. This is what I want to use. I don't want to have to keep decorating. I just want to reuse this classroom background over and over again. Um, but then say that you want to add a different book or you want to move your Bitmoji person or you want to change her clothes. If you'll come over here to the side, right click and duplicate the slide. It's going to make an exact copy, and you can come down here to the second slide, and you can move things around. So, <coughs> excuse me, I can come in and hit my little Bitmoji button, and I could have, um, you know, the, oops, the little person, the little Bitmoji person waving, or you could have the Bitmoji person pointing at something on the board you want the kids to pay attention to. This one's really cute. I like this one a lot. I'm going to copy that image. Then I'm going to click in my classroom, excuse me, and I'm going to paste. And then she could stand right over here and like, you know, she wants the kids to look at the board. Okay. Another tip that I want to tell you guys is now my little Bitmoji person is pointing at the board, but there's nothing on the board. How do you get things on the board? If you come up here to insert, you're going to insert text box, and you're going to drag the box as big as you want it, and then it's just as simple as typing. So I could type, hey guys. Welcome to the virtual classroom. Um, all I've got to do now is come up here. I can change my font just like you would making any of the slides. Uh, the only thing that's annoying is you have to highlight those words. It's really, it's kind of a pain. Uh, I love Comic Sans. It's just a fun one. I can center it on the board here. I can pull on my squares and make it be bigger. I can make my words be bigger just by changing the font. I can make it be bold. I want that to go down to the next line. Really simple and easy. I can change the color. So I've got some blues and some purples in my room. Maybe I want that to be purple. Ta -da! So, this was just a quick video to show you how to put Bitmoji in there um, and to show you how to put like a message on that board. Um, I do really like the Bitmoji because, again, it kind of shows personality a little bit more. And if you think about that, the only way that our kids are going to see us is through a picture or through Zoom. This kind of gives it a little bit more of a personal touch and gives you a little bit more personality. Um, one of the things that I like about Bitmoji is that you can can change the clothes you can change the shoes me personally I like to wear skirts and dresses especially at the beginning of the year when it's so hot it's just cooler to me and I usually wear flip-flops or sandals so my little bit mochi person can have on a skirt or a dress and wear flip-flops just like I would in the real classroom again if you guys ever have any questions please reach out to me. Please ask. I do not mind. I hope this video was at all helpful for you guys, and I hope that you can make your own virtual classroom and have fun with it. I'll see you guys later. Bye!